Hi guys, Hi guys. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. Today's video we thought we'd go for a few bits uh, that you might need when you're getting a new puppy and how much money we've roughly spent. Yeah. So we've actually made an Instagram for tea, our water terrier. <laughs> if you want to give that a follow, we'll leave that on screen now as well as our page. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new. And if you're a returning follower, thank, thank you. you very much. And let's get into the video. First of all, we need to say that you need to make sure that you get a dog or a puppy that fits your lifestyle. You know, if you get an energetic dog, and you've got to make sure you you've got enough sure, time yeah, to, to take it out and obviously train it. First couple of weeks that we got tea she was hard work wasn't she and then i went sort of back to work and i yeah. was on her own and it was it was it was tough it's like a baby <laughs> yeah so you need to make sure that you uh you've got enough time and you know what you're getting yourself into yeah uh but yeah we <laughs> thought we'll go for a few bits that we got for tea uh before we picked her up one of the first things is choosing a bed for them so they do recommend that you choose a bed that they can actually grow into so although they're going to be really tiny when you first get them it's best to get one that is sort of the right size for them when they are bigger and they like to also like snuggle up in them don't they yeah we chose one from old country stores it's a bit mangled now <laughs> yeah, like uh, a structured almost back got... bit yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the tears on it that she's been chewing off. And it's got a cushion that is, you can... Other way as well. It's nice so and cosy for in the winter. Or uh, just sort of... <laughs> so... <laughs> she's destroyed she... it. But we've got her a size medium, which obviously looks quite big. And especially when you saw her when we first got her, she was tiny. Yeah. But she's definitely already fitting into it, isn't she? Yeah, she's currently got pig's ear. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Let me go. Yeah, so she's going to get bigger. She'll grow into it, but she curls up real tight. So yeah, I think the medium size it. is good. And, and that was £34. It was actually on offer as well. It was from a brand... It's um, called House called, of Paws. They also recommend to... As long as you've got lots of blankets in there, they just like to snuggle up when it's a little bit bigger, don't they? Yeah. So onto that, we got her a blanket. Obviously you can get any blankets. We just got this little pink one because we liked it from um, the range, like machine washable and everything. It was literally only 3 99 And it's a good size, like it's quite big. Yeah. Um, and it's got, this is the sort of hem and none of it's come away or anything. She doesn't really scratch at this one though. No, so. not really. I think she knows it's sort of like her bed blanket. Yeah, we just keep it in She did bed. used to pull it out her bed quite a lot when it was, oh, yeah, she was a true. puppy to, you know just play with it yeah um but considering that it's fine and it's lasted Three and for months. that price we'd be happy to get another one if we needed to anyway also with staying on the sort of bed part it is sometimes people like to crate chain their dogs and other mm. people are obviously very against it we decided that we were going to give her a crate however we didn't actually like the look of like the standard metal crates which obviously each their own we just didn't like the look of them but we saw these um almost pens that you can get um, which are uh, yeah which was quite good because we live in quite a small place so if we needed to put it away in the day we can because it folds up like this and you also do get a little carry bag for it if you yeah. wanted to <laughs> so it's like that and it opens up there was different sizes you could get as well but this size is it may look quite small but it's still good for her yeah and it's then got it's a little got the door, door here and, and then the roof one on does top up. that comes off so um, that actually folds up and on the pictures it there was pictures of taking them to the beach in it and it looked quite cool yeah but it works really well for our space and for her so I think that was a good buy and it was only £23 from Amazon. We will leave them all linked below if you do want to shop through the links. They're not yep. sponsored or anything, it's just what we got. So the next thing that's a good idea to get is a towel. This one is specifically a dog one that we got yeah. from B&M and I think it was only £2.99. Yeah, microfiber as well, so it dries really quick. It's big enough for our dog. Obviously, if you had a bigger dog, it might actually be a little bit small, but for the puppy size we've got, it's perfect. Yeah. Definitely would recommend to get a microfiber one because yeah. we did try a normal towel and they just get so wet and sodden so quickly and take ages to dry. Also, like when she's just she got muddy soaked. paws, you can't even really see it on it. I think we used this yesterday and it looks clean. Definitely 
a really good thing to have. Next up, you obviously need water and food bowls. Yeah, and we got these ones. This one actually says tea. This one says water. And we actually got these off eBay. From a small business. Yeah, small business. And we thought they were really nice. And you could definitely get cheaper ones out there. Um, you know, you could go to wherever and get one for a couple of quid. As soon as she was big enough, we we started using these and we really, we really like them and they're, they're good nice. as well because they can go in the dishwasher which i think is a good thing we don't actually have one but i think that is a good point to have and it's actually made in a kiln so this isn't printed on with a sticker it's painted and you know kiln yeah. fired dried and it's by um someone called crazy fur you pet products so again i'll leave them below did lots of designs as well for both of these they were 30.99 <clears throat> so on the higher end of getting a bowl for your dog, but we thought she's gonna have these for her whole life. Yeah, I think and they're last. good quality. Yeah. And yeah, and we thought we would you know, recommend. Was, yeah, definitely recommend getting something if like this. If you want something personalised. Moving on to the next thing, what something you need to get is a brush. This will be different for the type of dog you're yeah, getting. Yeah, specific for your dog uh, because she's got sort of a, a wiry coat. They recommend to get a slicker for a border terrier, which is this one. She doesn't like it very much. Yeah, it's like a sort of thin, wiry brush. And we only really use it when she's tired because that's the only time that she lets us brush her. Um, but there's also just sort of like a nice brush that we use from sort of day one and she got used to it. So I, I think this was a good one. This was it five pound? Yeah, a roughly five pound. And it was by a brand called Mickey, I think. We got which it from that Pets at Home. do right? lots of different ones. There was literally like loads for different breeds and it does say on the packets like what hair they're good for i think there was like a little diagram above that showed yeah. like what hair your dog has what one to but, get yeah but definitely look into uh what brush you need for your for your dog because they do different ones and different things for their coats staying on the dog coats sort of thing you will probably need a shampoo so this is a it says perfect puppy shampoo it's mild puppy shampoo we literally just got this from tesco i think it's about two pounds it smells like baby powder she's fine with it but that's a good idea to get obviously you might need to get a certain one for certain breed if there's stuff out there that you can find <laughs> the next thing something that t doesn't like that much is toothpaste and toothbrush and it is recommended that you start as soon as possible to get them used to it now we did do that um, it basically really gave you instructions on first touching the gums and then eventually getting them used to you lifting them up and things and then rubbing your finger on them um, and then letting them lick the toothpaste off your finger well it's apparently meant to taste of Food liver flavour and uh, she will not go near it. <laughs> no, so we, we've definitely got to get... I so think we're try I don't and know get if different... we would recommend this one personally, but yeah. obviously it is good to get them when they are young into doing that. Obviously your puppy might like it. She She's probably not. just a fussy little thing, but it is that brand. Definitely look into getting a toothpaste and a toothbrush because they definitely need to keep their teeth clean. It's from Pets at Home. I reckon it's about fiver. So before you obviously get a puppy, they recommend that you get lots of toys for them. Different uh, what, textures, sizes, different type of things. So we've got most of our toys are either from Pets at Home or TK Maxx. We and found TK a lot Maxx of good ones in actually there. actually really good, you know, just sort of random ones. Hannah got this one. I was looking for ages to try and find her a sort of soft rope one. Because all of the rope ones we see in the shops are hard. really hard, whereas this is actually made out of sort of like soft material. Um, so it wasn't too hard on her teeth and it is quite soft. So this one is called The Little Rascal's Fleecy Man and it was five pounds from TK Maxx. This one is a little... That one's actually from Wilkinson. Zebra from Wilkinson. She loved that one. Yeah. She loved chewing on his ears because they've got little air things in to go like this. Yeah. Um, so they're a little bit harder but still soft because they're covered in the fur. She loved chewing on that when she was a lot younger. And we got this little... I think it's actually uh, a deer. It's got a squeaky bit in it and it's sort of rubbery and a, and a rope. She loved that one as well. Uh, I got this from Pets at Home. She doesn't like these actually as much because we bought her another one which was a bit different to this and she think, doesn't really enjoy it that much. I might think be they the were teeth. spiky for Yeah, her it might, might be that she just wasn't sort of dealing with that. She liked the squeaker though, so. And then it's on her. 
She loves things with she ribbons on it. She loves things with ribbons on it. Um, yeah, it's a little Teething bone. bone. I think the f it's just a milk bone. That oh. was from Pets at Home. That one. And we got some Where's tennis. We got some tennis balls as well. And they came in a pack of six from the range, and they are called like the small bite ones because she is tiny. Um, they were a lot be better because obviously I don't think she would fit a big tennis ball in her mouth when she was a puppy. No, and we got her and little lastly, bunny. They say it's good to have like a comfort toy in this. On in pets at home, they do write on the tags like what sort of toy they are, and yeah. this one is under the comfort, which she always sleeps with in her bed. The toys that we got for tea before we actually picked her up, they came to about twenty five quid, um, on a, just a small variety of toys. Um, she's obviously got a lot more now, a lot of different ones, a lot of squeak toys yeah. and bits and like that. And bear in mind, they probably won't be very interested in the toys because we did find that, or they yeah. will have like a few that they are really interested in and some they just do not care about. Um, but that is just a puppy thing. She enjoys them a lot more now. She's a little bit older. Yeah. We did actually have uh, an elephant and we called Nelly. She sadly uh, went in the burning because she destroyed it, <laughs> literally destroyed it. But she loved it so much. Yeah. It had sort of like the crinkly texture. Yeah, I would say really definitely get something like that because she the loved the texture of the and the sound of that. Yeah. That was a good one. Toys, I would say sort of 20 to 30 quid, up to 30 pound. Don't go crazy because sometimes they just don't want to play with them. It's, it's your choice and how much you obviously want exactly. to spend. Exactly. Yeah, I would say if you're gonna go for like cheaper ones, be careful with the design because obviously sometimes yeah. they, things can come off it. I know it can happen with any toy, but just make sure you're like supervising when they are playing with it yeah. just in case small parts come off. Poo bags. Poo we bags. actually use nappy bags because we prefer the scent of them. Yeah. Um, but we literally just get um, I think these ones are two, three hundred, like extra value ones from Tesco, which were about 40p. So then lastly, we did get a car seat for her. We didn't actually get one for her at the start. It wasn't until I actually met up with another puppy owner who had one and said, if you're in the car on your own or even together, it, so. and the dog isn't under control, as in sort of harnessed in, and you were to have an accident, your insurance could be void. When we had that, we thought, well, we might as well get one. It'll keep her safe anyway as well. Car seat was 12 99 from Amazon. Uh, we'll show you what it looks like in a minute, but I thought that was quite a good price and it's a lot better than having a run around the car and yeah. not, not be safe. It's, it's a lot easier to obviously control her when it's just myself or Hannah driving in the car on their, on their own. You know she's safe. Right, so here's the car seat. Uh, you get a little clip which obviously you can clip to the dog's harness or collar just to keep them safe. Uh, it goes around, well this is what we do, we put it around the front seat and the back seat headrest so it stays in nice and secure. It's a little bit dirty at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's that. So the last sort of thing we got before we collected tea was her tag, a collar. Well, actually we, we had had one from Anna's, Anna's dog. Um, a lead and a harness. So legally you have to have a tag obviously with your name, phone number and address so if anything did happen to her whilst you're out or she ran off or anything like that you, someone would be able to get hold of her. She's obviously microchipped. That's also a legal requirement as now but yeah. your puppy breeder should be yeah, doing that definitely for you anyway. Sort that out. Now we will we'll go on a walk and show you her harness. So we thought we'd film this next bit on an actual walk which is when we're going to tell you about the price of things you need for when you want to take them out. So we got her ID tag. And we did we get that before? I think we might have actually got it when we had her, but obviously we couldn't take her out for an actual walk until she was 12 weeks. Yeah. Until she'd had her second vaccinations, which is obviously something else you'll need to pay for. They were 51 pound 15 and that was to cover for her fleas worming and her vaccination so she's allowed to go out and meet other dogs and obviously that might vary on your area or breed of dog i don't know and the vets that you stuff. go to and stuff like that and obviously we would recommend that you go to the vets and sort that out yeah as i was saying we got an id tag for her the one that we got we actually got off uh, etsy and it was 11 pound yeah um, and i think they are around that sort of price when we were looking in pets at home we were going to get it from there but they didn't actually have like the color we wanted so, which wouldn't really matter but we wanted yeah we wanted a, a nice little whatever. one but then we chose this one off etsy which was really nice the um, other thing that you need to get is obviously a harness and a collar 
<laughs> We're using a, a collar that Hannah's uh, family had. Uh, for, cracker. for cracker and she was a puppy yeah so we're, we're using that at the moment so we didn't have to pay for that and we got a harness Ooh. from ebay which is five pound and currently she is actually five months old we've actually bought three three harnesses for which her do when they're puppy because they're growing so much so obviously like a baby we bought the Ooh. same harness twice which was five pound each they were really good actually could not fault them so ah. if you are we thought we'd just buy a cheapy one because it wasn't going to last that long, which yeah, it didn't. And then this one was from Amazon and it was £12. This is obviously bigger. the couple of bits which you need to make sure that you've got before you get your puppy. Or, well, the, in this case, it was before we could take her out. And also, we got a lead, which you obviously need to get. So the harnesses came with the lead. Yeah, the harnesses. Short lead. So you got a lead and a harness for £5. <laughs> yeah, we thought that was pretty good, but we got an extendable one, which was five metres. Uh, which is there and that is 18 pound <laughs> pretty much all you need to get going with your puppy um so i hope you enjoyed the video please give it a like and subscribe if you're new and here's little t <laughs> she's not so little anymore she's getting bigger nope. but yeah i hope, hope you guys liked it yeah. and we'll see you in we'll the next see you one soon. bye bye this is currently t Whilst we were filming the video, she's got she got pigs here because it's a weekend. She gets a treat. Yeah. And also to keep her quiet, <laughs> she's got um, lots of her adult teeth now, actually. Yeah. So she can have them because they're quite hard, I guess. You might be able to see them a little bit. She's actually missing a thang here, where it came out in the week, didn't it? 